Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Spark of Genius Flesh and Blood production. My name is Eric, and I'm joined by my co-creator, co-commentator, co-caster, co-compatriot Rob on the right. Funnily enough, he's on the dash side, and I seem to be on the bold side. But it has no <laughs> that was not planned at all. No, it was not planned. We're both on the dash side. Let's be real here. But for the moment, we are doing another gameplay re gameplay review for the replay of the Calling Birmingham. So one of the Swiss rounds, we have Matt Rogers on dash versus uh, Bolton. I'll just and um yeah, yeah, this this one's interesting because these are both uh, at this point they're both 4-0, I believe. So we have uh, Bolton 4-0 and uh, Matt Rogers on. Uh, I said Matt Rogers on 4-0. He's on dash, which is 4-0, but um, <laughs> yeah. playing his pretty standard, his pretty pretty I guess standard dash build. Like I'm not really sure how many changes for this particular event he's going to make for dash. He might mm. be running like um, I don't even know if Warmonger's diplomacy is a no, this is the calling Birmingham. So this is no, no, yeah, yeah. No, DTD was released by the by this point, right? But um, right. I I'm not too sure how many changes he particularly made for this one. And then you have Bolton, illuminated by the uh, the light of soul. It looks like literally. I, I think the they'll, they'll change it soon. I think. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. They do. They do change it a little bit later on here. So uh, interesting matchup. It's a Ra see, Raiden build, of course. Um, it is a Raiden build, so it is a lot more popular. Bolton obviously got a bunch of support. Uh, he can be a little bit more on the aggressive side rather than just always be on Saber Bolton. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, nice. I'm trying to think like beforehand who oh. was like favored. Is in this? The... I think Bolton. Sorry, he's running the helm. I didn't really know that that was. Um... That's an interesting choice. Yeah. Is that standard? That is, uh... Bolton. I haven't played much Bolton to even know if that's a standard card. I think, in the I list. think you can run. I think you can run Crown of Providence. I think you can run um, the helm. I think you can also yeah. run. Um... Oh, the Halo of Illumination. That's what I was thinking would be. You can also run Halo, and then you can also run um, Crown of Dominion to get that Cashin token, the gold oh. Cashin. So in a more aggressive build, so you could run any royal, four them, <laughs> royal, um... yeah, ro essentially royal. That is a build I have seen. So yeah. it really depends here. Uh, Matt Rogers going first, kind of just setting up nothing. N no, no spiky. Didn't attack. Spiky turns. Yeah. No. No. Uh, no items. No. No starting items oh, here. So yeah. we do no see... spark of genius turn one. Tisk tisk. Yeah. Rip. Yeah. Yeah, Spark of Genius here. We do see a take flight just running in for three. So I think Bolton's game plan just pretty standard, going to charge probably every yeah. turn and try to amass a couple um a couple pieces in soul. It is important to note that oh that the Iron Song versus is what he's uh what Finley here okay. is. Pop it, pop it to the right. So he's running the Iron Song versus, which does allow him to get encourage on hit for that Raiden, because Raiden yep. didn't have it on hit. So it's kind of nice getting that extra value, being able to create a courage. Giving the plus one to the next uh, next attack essentially. Oh. So what he's able to do is to get the automatic go again because it already has base higher than uh, yeah. uh, attack higher than base with exactly. the courage. Token. So it kind of lets you lets you set that up. Matt not blocking there. Uh, surprising. No, he has high octane. No, it's not surprising. Oh, he had high octane. octane yeah, never mind. Yeah. Of course. Turn yeah. was it? Turn was just seven damage. I mean, Bolton just kind of still needs a little bit to still needs to warm up. Essentially, he's yeah. still very much a warm up deck. You can't really turn mountain and molehill for for this particular deck yet uh unless you get like an early cash in for like that build but matt yeah. just kind of gonna be more on the oh that's a spark of genius that's a little bit hard uh <laughs> banishing the spark of genius for the throttle Ouch. so matt probably still on a bit more of a mid-range aggressive plan it looks like yeah. but i think I think value is the name of the game, right? You don't really want to let Bolton sit there and amass so much soul right. that his um, really wide turns with Lumina Ascension, like Bolt of Courage, uh, not Bolt of Courage. Uh, the of the his, his Lumina Ascension. No, what's the what's the buff? What's the um, oh um, escapes me. The not, well, that, not, not Bolt of Courage. Uh, Beacon of no, Beacon of tutor. Victory. Beacon of Victory. Yeah. Beacon of Victory. Yeah. So you don't want to be in that position where you're like blocking out and missing the block of Beacon of Victory, and they just Lumina and smack you for like cards and just get mm -hmm. a bunch of value and soul. Yeah. Um, I think the one one issue with Bolton we're still seeing in general is he's still fairly card hungry, and because you're going to need a card and soul, and then you need a card to attack with, and you just need another card for additional costs. Yeah, it is nice that the the bannerets can give you some extra value for them, like the Courage token, the Aegis. And I, I forget mm. what the... Oh, health, I think it heals you for one. So it, it's kind of nice that they added that built-in value to the core mechanic. Uh, I don't know if it's enough mm. to make Bolton good, but it does make him feel a lot better in yeah. that respect. You do see the Matt's very much going mid-range because he did boost uh, 0 to 60. So he, he didn't gain... Oh, he boosted um, the... Um, 
he boosted uh, the sync below. below. Yeah, so he, he he wasn't really he's not on like the all mech plan, like his entire deck's right. mech, so he never misses kind of thing. So he's not gonna be able to tick up anything for the high octane there, just staying at his his yeah. own action point, so to speak. But right. but he he does get the action point anyway, so it's not a, mm -hmm. a turn ender, which is nice. But you can't really yeah. pistol a bunch at the end of this turn, unfortunately. And there's no purifier cards. either. That's true. Um, purifier makes this turn really gross because every pistol then comes in for three or four damage. In this case, it's still mm -hmm. just two. But you know, you see high octane into a Bolton, you play a high octane into Bolton. I think it's as simple yep. as that. So, yep. Yeah, yeah. He's going. He is definitely going a little bit wider here. He's going to pitch. Probably just load pistol here. Yep, breaking mm -hmm. the chain, loading the pistol to floating. Yeah. Now I think he uh, only he has could... one action point. Or oh, he might have two because he boosted He only twice. has one. Uh, yeah, but he missed on the second one, so he didn't get that extra one from the high. Like, High Octane mm. uh, gave him the um, okay. gave him the piece there, but he didn't have the extra, the extra okay. point. So, so he got he essentially boosted... two points from the first boost, right, and so then he... he used one, and then he wanted to get the net one from the High Octane. So because he fired with a pistol once. Oh, it's because he fired. Yeah, that makes sense. So the pistol consumed the extra action point he, yeah. he would have. Yeah, I don't. Had. I don't believe yeah. he didn't tilt. He didn't tilt the induction chamber. Meaning, he, I don't think he used right. the induction chamber. Right. That's uh, so true. He just, you know. Yeah. So he has a, a max like... now. One more pistol hit. Um. Oh, sorry. It's not Bolton's turn. Uh, he came in with a. I missed it. Was that a beaming bravado? Light the way. Uh, no, I think it's light the way. It oh, sorry. It's on the. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Light the so way. So light the way. He... The reason he's blocking it is uh, the the yellow card was charged. So okay. Um, oh, I guess the yellow card wasn't charged. I don't yeah. actually remember. Here's that beacon of victory I was kind of mentioning earlier. Yeah. I like the way uh, the on hit essentially gains go again. So that's why Matt Rogers mm -hmm. was trying to block and force uh, force Bolton to use the attack reaction because the courage. That, that's kind of what we're talking about. The courage token it allowed you to use any card as a starter. So you just get yeah. extra value. If Matt didn't want to block, then like the way automatically gains the go again if right. you have the yellow. If you're able to uh, charge with the yellow card, mm -hmm. uh, in this case, he's just going to uh, force force uh, Bolton to use the attack reaction. Has the bolt bolt of courage, anyways. Not bolt of courage. Uh, Beacon of victory, anyways. Grabbing right. the Lumina Ascension. Yeah, very good tutor um, card for Lumina. That's classic for the combo decks of old, mm -hmm. right? You kind of use your beacon, get your Lumina, arsenal it, wait for one more yep. Lumina to come out, and then you just kind of go ham. But on these on on these more recent builds with um, Raiden. Um, you don't usually want to save up for a giant combo. You you play the cards as you get them. And in this case, a single Lumina, uh, as we're seeing uh, Finley play here. It's yeah. really meant to be a tempo deck. He's trying to definitely be the aggressor in this in this particular build. It is interesting, Matt, using armor this early on Lumina. He is he is trying to uh, de deny value on the one health and the charge card, yeah. right? Because that's what Lumina would do on the on hit. But exactly. Hold him going to be... Um... Well, to be attacking again with that rate and giving the extra swing because of uh, because of Lumina, but mm -hmm. it is important to note that this is not one of those like big V of the Vanguard Spirit Arena turns where you're able to like get that sure. free action point off the Lumina and then just swing again yeah. and like play something else uh, and get keep Soul. Yeah. So he's gonna get at least one hit on Soul. I'm kind of curious what Matt's hand was oh. here. He, ooh, whoa. Well, it uh, hurts. It it hurts. Oh. Um, not the end of the world, That's but brutal. it does hurt. Yeah. Ah, it's not the end of the world, <laughs> but it's pretty bad because now you only have one Lumina left. Yeah. So, I'm gonna say it's not as bad as banishing a Blood Rush. Blood Rush feels worse. Yeah. <laughs> to to be to be yeah to be fair, um, Matt is, you know, he doesn't really have that many on hits on his side. His, his damage is a lot more subdued in different kind of on on off turns. Really yeah. high off in the only card that breaks your turn. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. Yeah, Matt did did end up missing a little bit. Unfortunate hitting the sink below, obviously. Um, it would have been one on... extra pistol hit. More, one extra likely. pistol hit. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. There's, I don't think there's any way. Uh, no, that, it might have been two pistol hits because I think he had uh, the load. So what he could have done is he could have foundry hearted, gained oh, okay. the extra resource, and he has three resources. Then he could have loaded fire again, and then and then induction, induction chamber after. Chamber, it. So yeah. load fire again. Yeah, so I think he would have, and because he has two action points, so he doesn't have to actually uh, play it that way. So that, yeah. that that would have missed a couple a couple pieces there, but I, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. But he ended up playing a second induction chamber, so maybe his plan all along was just to play up the item anyway, and you know, not yeah, really go I, to I him he, with the pistol. Yeah, he he wanted to extract value, but I don't think popping your Achilles that early is gonna be it's no. gonna be the way to do it. <laughs> nah, you wait till you have the those good old purifiers. Be? Be the so it is interesting. Off oh, the I got tunic, a glimpse. 
Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, kind of the main. Re oh, there's that Spirit Arena I kind of mentioned earlier. Nice. So, the yeah. view of the Vanguard off Tunic, kind of the bread and butter earlier earlier on in Raiden builds. Yeah. Uh, it is interesting that you know Finley's not bothering to run with the new chest piece, right? The um. The um. Oh man, what's it called? Oh, the dude. <laughs> I forget. It's the one that blocks two, and I think it lets whenever you charge. Uh, I'm blanking so hard. Anyway, right, you keep you, you keep commentating on that. And I'll go look for it. <laughs> A soul bound resolve. There it soul is. Bound soul bond resolve. resolve. Soul, soul bond resolve. Soul bond resolve. Soul bond, not soul. bound. Yeah. Yeah. So looking back at this turn via the Vanguard charging two, making that bolt that um, bolting blade free. So mm. it is also coming for nine because of the buff with via the Vanguard. Yeah, very nice. Something, something to note. Yeah, you know, casual fourteen, not too bad. Uh, able to able to get that spirit down for unfortunately the last Lumina, but re really you want to get the spirit out early enough to be able to V Lumina. It would be nice to get a double. Right, Lumina. that would be super cool to get two action points. But exactly, uh, is it gonna is it gonna pushing damage using mm -hmm. his last soul to probably swing with Raiden, I imagine. Yeah, it's going to swing with Raiden yeah. here because it comes in for five. So casual 19 on that turn. Uh, casual 19, quite yeah. Quite good, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Matt's blocking six here. Uh, he must have taken the full nine. Oh, he must have, yeah, he took yeah. 14 already from that turn, so that's a lot of damage to take. Yeah, Matt with, Matt with two cards left here. It is kind of like... A pretty pretty powerful turn for Bolton to be able to get like a casual nineteen off the tunic, which is and the tunic is really what allowed him to do that, right? right. So showing that is still very much a good piece here. Uh yeah. interesting that Matt has the fate in banish. He must have boosted a fate at some point that we kind of missed. Um uh, fate for <laughs> I wonder. So yeah. It might have been the it might have been the high speed impact. Uh ended up boosting the uh mm. He, he played the high speed impact beforehand. Might have boosted a fate okay, so in this turn. Um, yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, I think we might have missed that, but that would have been extremely unfortunate because his turn would have just been over at that point because he doesn't have the luxury of extra action points like uh, he would have gotten with that high octane. It is interesting that Matt is boosting, you know, on the more aggressive side for a deck that like, he might be running six six D reacts and still be boosting mm. fairly heavily. I don't really know at the point. I, I always have like a mixed kind of feeling, like when you should, yeah. should you be boosting risk. Like high octane is one thing. I I, I totally understand why you, know, you hit the sink off the high octane, you hit it off the high octane, right? Yeah. Um, and you keep going. You know, it's yeah. So I, I, it's interesting. I think that people have different ideas on like what's the what's the. I mean, Matt Rogers obviously plays a lot more dash than uh, other people, but it's interesting to note in different matchups when is an acceptable time to be able to um, kind of go oh, another sink. So he's only so he's, he's gonna get. Nothing. That was he's not. He's not even. He's not gonna go to two. He's that was a foundry heart Probably. trigger, right? That was a foundry heart trigger boost. So yeah, he must be running the three sinks, three fates. So yeah, well, is it? Is it just? It might just be based on the speed of Bolton. Matt might just not think he has enough time. Oh, spark! So he wanted to. Uh, right. He wanted to. Sp wait, well, he wants what? to draw a card now off of Spark. Um, okay, so did it? It doesn't matter for the item. I think he just wanted to be able to load an induction here. I don't think he. Like, he's, he did, he's not like he went from like three resources to four resources to be able to uh, spark an induction chamber or purifier. Right. Because right? he's sparking a tech low regardless. You don't need pitch, it, right? Exactly. So I think, yeah. I think he just wanted to charge um, induction chamber, ending up boosting away a D react. Yeah. I don't know if that <laughs> boost was worth it, to be honest. Like, I don't know if that Foundry Heart was worth just, like, loading an induction. Am I just... Um, am I crazy there? Well, I you don't really have much to lose. A little greedy. Other than a... Yeah, other than a D-React, well, which seems kind of good now, because if you if you had a D-React and then your Teclacore goes off, you're able to, like, swing together some better turns. And Sync right. does help you also fix fix your hand quite nicely if you end up drawing a lot of reds in this case well i think at this point you really have to get the small advantages where you can so you know you take the small risk of getting two resources and you can load both inductions um sure you know the worst the worst thing is you lose a d react but there are still a couple more in the deck so i don't really think it's worth not doing it they did draw a fate which is kind of funny so two sinks there gone go. <laughs> one faint and banish one draw yeah but that that's the the fate nullifying one of his turns hurt probably hurts a little bit he yeah that, that must two. that must be why he's, two, he's much lower in health right now because he couldn't actually two, play out his turn yeah two damage or four damage i imagine is probably what he lost either pistol swing mm -hmm. or two pistol swings off that one 
Yeah. Uh, we do see Finley coming in with another Light the Wave. Yeah. So he did charge a, I don't know what color Valiant Thrust that is, but if it's a yellow, then it will have that, um, we'll have that go again on hit. What does that sign say on the card? It's charge. Oh, charged. <laughs> nice. Yes, just just to know that it was charged. It is coming in for three, mm. so the on hit is is valid as long as that's a yellow right, card. Right. That's cool. It is it is it is interesting. I feel like like the way is one of those cards that extract a fair amount of value, but also yeah, it's it's really interesting. It's like you have the bannerets, and if you can get like the banneret, you just get like the best value. But in this particular case, it's like okay, so you don't you don't have go again unless you hit. So essentially if you're able to and dash doesn't really have non-attacks to block for three but decks that do like levi like levia blocking with like unworldly bellows for instance kind of just yeah. stops this turn in your tracks unless you have a buff right so yeah. you gotta be you gotta be expecting against dash is gonna be mostly attack action so yeah that's, like, that's unless you're smart of genius right oh yeah. there you go in which case he had the, the beacon as well but yeah that's a good point yeah you're relying on your opponent playing around this and if they do play around it really well then your turn is kind of stifled but yeah I think you, you kind of just be smart about how you play it and um, with what cards you have in your hand, especially. Yeah. Matt not blocking is probably correct here because if you have all attack actions, uh, but he does have a right. fate for scene. So like he's got a fate for scene and this isn't going to hit, right. but he's um, going to be forced to... It is um, going to four. So a fate for scene would fully block this out. Would fully block it, which is which is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to do it. He has Lumina. I don't see why you wouldn't because he has no... Nothing gets soul, so he wouldn't get go again unless he actually hits. So this is going to be a perfect punish here on the face. That's true. Unless, yeah. he's, unless he's got um like resounding cur or I think resounding courage is what it's called. It's the buff. It's the one one for three buff. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or or um courageous steel hand or something. But looks like Matt is content with taking the four and let, letting them have the go again. Hmm. That is interesting. I wonder. I guess Matt. Yeah, that is very interesting. Matt knows that. Matt knows that he has the uh, Lumina in hand, and he does have the Spirit of Arena, so Lumina would be um, yeah, he played as an instant to gain the gain the action point, mm -hmm. uh, which is cool. And now he plays the Fate, so he's blocking. Okay. The um, three off no a four because Lumina yeah. is plus one right. Yeah, so makes sense if he had blocked earlier. Well, actually, if he blocked earlier, there wouldn't be another attack after that, right? Because they wouldn't have go again. Am I missing something? I I am genuinely confused. Why we might have to we'll, we'll take a look at that a little bit a little bit earlier. Um, we'll do that a little bit later. So right here we'll kind of yeah. continue. He is going to be resounding courage. He will break the chain here, which doesn't really matter because via the vanguard's not like the, he doesn't. It's the not, chain doesn't really matter yeah, unless he has via the vanguard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So very important though, if you do play the V, make sure to do this before the V turn, because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, if you don't do it before your via the vanguard, it will break the chain and stop your V. Makes sense. So, yeah. Matt, Matt taking taking some damage, so definitely valuing the block on the Lumina to be able to make sure Finley is not able to charge, put a card in soul, right? Yeah. Because Finley didn't have anything in soul, which oh. was which was the main idea. Maybe the he he knew that uh, Lumina would come out anyway because of Spirit of Arena. So you can and pop gain, it, gain you the action point, yeah, and gain yeah. the action point, yeah. So he could have played around the the D react by popping Spirit of Arena, playing Lumina anyway, getting the action point, then coming in with Raiden for for four, so. Maybe that was the play. Yeah, that was the plan. Yeah, it's it's definitely possible that that could be like a pretty pretty reasonable reason reasonable reason <laughs> uh, reasonable excuse not to pop the not to pop the fake because I I don't know if if you it's still know... four damage though but yeah yeah and they get to go again but it, it's just like if they're gonna get an action point regardless and they don't need the soul and they're just gonna come out with and then they're gonna get a soul so Matt definitely mm -hmm. uh, recognized <laughs> doing doing his job as a good player recognizing the yeah. fact that. Finley having the lowest soul possible is really the goal here, right? Because without without a card in soul, it gets a little bit dicier. You have just like weaker turns, and so mm -hmm. going up Foundry Harding, finally not hitting a, uh, <laughs> a not hitting a super fate. Yeah, kind of nice. So he's gonna be able to use the two and probably yeah um, load fire twice. I imagine. Hopefully the deck does yeah. run purifier. I, I don't see why it wouldn't, but it seems like we haven't seen it yet, and he's probably a good halfway through his deck. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. Like, I, I imagine it really depends on how much space you think you have into the Bolton player. Like, if right. setting up purifiers and, and um, inductions, it, it depending on slow. how fast you can get them out, it's usually going to be slower than the Bolton having a bunch of soul and just running at you, right? So yeah, that, it might be, might be the 
might be the scenario where Matt's just like, okay, I'll get the abduction so I can swing three times off of blue because that's right. what it is, right? If you have if you have everything fully charged, yeah. um, you really just need a blue in that particular case. But... Right. He might be leaning more into the boost package, just kind of mm -hmm. just getting all your value off really high value or high damaging boost cards. So yeah, Matt Matt definitely recognizing that he has to Finley has to pop the snaps yeah Finley has to pop the snaps he has no go against source he has no he has no soul he has no nothing because he didn't even charge yet yeah oh cnc into dash is an interesting choice i wonder if that's something i would play i don't know i mean i think it's fine i think yeah. the it's like <laughs> matt can only crown once and then finley's probably aware that you know matt does and he did run a bunch of d-reacts right yeah. but it is, it is also interesting because Matt will run a bunch of items too. So if you have D-Reacts and items, you, you have catch, a really unfortunate hand. Really you, can bad turn. Them, you can cast them on a pretty bad turn. So interesting, you know, Matt's at 11. You did that, that turn for 19, really, like that V turn for 19 yeah. kind of proved the power of Tunic in this particular matchup as like the great extender. Because like, Finley yeah. doesn't really need the Soul Bond, um, Resolve. Soul Bond Resolve here. Yeah, yeah, the, the blocking's not really super necessary into dash. Yeah. So there Matt are no real... Like, on hits for for dash so it's it's like it's no. just damage really yep just damage and efficiency and that's took, all you're trying to do oh, took the full cnc to the face that's he's braver than i am i don't know going out to five with four cards he, he might not he might not oh he has two techlo cores in his hand so he's just like doomed to be oh with. no he could have he could have block it out yeah he has two techlo cores he does in his hand. he does oh that's Ooh. unfortunate matt's actually just getting like a little on the unlucky side this game i feel yeah, yeah, he banished at least three D reacts now, I think. Uh, a sink and a fate, I believe. Okay, so one from high octane, one from the um, high speed impact. High speed impact, I think. Yeah, which is like a regular high speed impact. Oh, so and then from the them... Teclo Foundry Heart. So three. Yeah, Teclo Foundry Heart. So that's the third one. So he lost maybe six points of damage off that. Sure. Off, like off those, those pistol swings, pistol like conservatively, like conservative, conservatively. It depends pistols. on how ham he wants to go, right? Yeah, because I think the first turn he could have hit four two, yeah. if he found rehearted. If he found rehearted on that one and actually hit, he could right. have uh, swung and then did that and then induction chamber. But uh, conservatively, he missed about six damage. Now Finley's at fifteen. So going 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 down to nine, he's still not dead, right? So yeah, it is kind it's, of it's, to note. it's still precarious for for dash. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so we got the first again. Time from the chamber yep. and we're not pitching probably going to be loading like everything up or at least the pistol on the other chamber that wasn't um oh okay never mind going for a nice boost boosting away high speed impact um yeah at this point you do have the achilles accelerator so yeah. if you because the nice thing is like if you're going to use it aggressively to try to push extra pist extra pistols it's as too, you mentioned without pure fire it's, it's just too damage yeah 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 that's why I'm wondering if the purifiers are in the list because I might consider running them over not all the chambers, but having at least like, you know, maybe two chambers and one purifier, like not running three chambers and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. so we do see the last uh, Teclo core coming out <laughs> bravely there. So at least Matt will be able to block a little bit and still mm -hmm. have resources to swing back. Now, the, the two resources will equate in this case because he has the pistol to four damage, right? Like you just load the induction, play, attack, react, get go again load fire right so each each in this case it's two but usually it would just be one uh one pistol swing right so the two coming in another v another v of the mm. vanguard so it's gonna be is he able is he able to get oh, that um, uh this is the Bannerate. one that gives the courage i believe quicken that's quicken oh that one's quicken okay okay oh that's even better <laughs> yeah you know it's you know it's courage because i think bolton is on that one. Oh, is he uh, he's he's on the one that gives oh that's courage. that's right that's right okay. Yeah, yeah he is, this yeah. is just going to be quicken, which is still good because it gives um, you can give Raiden quicken. You can give a lot of things mm -hmm. quicken, right? So if if Finley has the last Lumina, I think it's it's done. I think it's it's game. Really, I think he because... does, doesn't he? Oh no, he played two and um, banished one. Two. I don't know where the, I don't know where the third one is. Uh, no, it, did he? It was two? in Soul. Oh, I'm pretty sure so he, he played two, left. so there shouldn't be any Luminas left anymore. Yeah. Okay, so this is a little bit different because if he had Lumina, I think it's game because he has Spirit of Arena, so he could have swung twice just off that oh. get the action point and just keep swinging, right? But in this particular case, uh, yep. Matt acutely aware that oh, oh it's good. CNC with okay. Go again, so he's gonna have a, just gonna be a Raiden after this, and that comes in for seven because of Via the Vanguard. Oh, because Via the Vanguard is charged, all attack actions. And he charged two the Banneret. 
Oh, oh it's just one. So it's coming for seven. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd be coming for eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for um, four, seven, and then another four off the, um, yeah, another, it, it would be another four off the, off the sword, off the raid in here. Okay, it is four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, oh, oh, yeah, okay. I was confused. So, yeah, you were talking about CNC being for seven. Okay. I was like, Raiden for seven? I was trying to do the math. Okay. No, Raiden so, for Raiden's four. for oh, four only. Yeah. I was going to mask oh. it as stupid up there. That was it. Um, okay. Yeah, if we go back to that last kinda, play, I think kinda, he just did. Kind of doomed. Yeah, he didn't really he didn't really have anything to have yeah. anything going here, right? It's because he had um two more three blocks. Even if he mm. blocks for another six, he's gonna take one going four and add raid and, and dice raid. Raid. Yeah. And I think he or already blocked blocks. twice with the foundry heart, so no more armor he to did. block with, unfortunately. Um interesting that he blocked dang, yeah. he blocked V for six. Why do you think he blocked V for six there? Like you block with a throttle and another three block, so yeah, you overblock the four. I think you just block for three, take one, go to four. Like there's no on hit on V the Vanguard, so mm. you just take one and he, that's it. He knew the quicken was that was there too, so he didn't. Know, he didn't know he the quicken. He would have known there. that even though Bolton only had one card in hand, it would have had go again. So mm -hmm. you would expect there to be at least two more attacks, right? You wouldn't just expect a raid in Arsenal because there's actually already a card in yeah. Arsenal. So actually, um, it's interesting. If he blocks with only one card, the V goes to five. Goes to four. Um, v goes to five. Right, it would have been five. So he would have taken two, gone to three. Um, yes. I guess realistically, you expect the next card to be something like four or five damage. You wouldn't expect C and C really, but you'd expect like... Ah, maybe take flight or something. I don't know. Something I would like go from like five to six or or four to five. Um, I don't. I don't think it really matters. Like you've got twelve block and they're all attack actions, and if you charge, it's going to be plus one for each of those. So like, yeah. I, I, at five, I don't think there's really much matter. Rogers could do anyways to come back to the game, but it is interesting uh, seeing Bolton kind of pull away with these multiple, hmm. essentially tunic V turns. Like the tunic V turns are the ones that broke the game. Uh, broke yeah. the game open on the board. It wasn't side. Lumina. Think... It really was like the two V turns no. that we just saw. This one plus the yeah. one with the bolt of courage, right? The, Lu the Lumina. Um, the first one was a bolting. The first one was just um, not bolt of courage anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, light yeah. way. Yeah. Um, oh, um, you're uh, talking about the uh, victory. Uh, victory. The one that came in for seven that got discounted. Um, that one's called oh, bolt uh, bolting. Bolting blade. Bolting blade. Yeah. Bolting blade. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That one came in for nine with the with the V double yeah. charge. So yeah. Yeah, that was, it's pretty good. So I think uh, Bolton, when you're able to come in with Tunic on these matchups, you just get so much more value mm. strictly because of via the Vanguard. But there is something to be said about uh, Soul Bond Resolve being that extra three armor, two charges, and the prevention in some matchups. So it's definitely a mm. good sideboard piece, uh, especially against decks that end up doing damage to you on your own turn because the Soul Bond does, will prevent the first one. So you get quite a bit of value off that mm. into things like, you know, Icelander, Kano, decks like those. Uh, interestingly enough, even very good into Icelander, Kano is mm -hmm. still like a, but like if you can't really afford, because you're running a lot of yellows and reds, you're not running a ton of blues and boltons, so you can't really afford that much AB anyways. It is kind of a nice way to circumvent that. Uh, another piece is you see Finley's soul was like very, very heavily taxed. Like I think there were, if there were a couple turns where Matt was able to do a little bit more pressure, uh, it might have mm -hmm. been, it might have looked a little bit different. The problem is, again, that pressure is just more pistol hits because we counted like six to eight damage maybe missed because of bad banishes. Yeah. So, like, Finley, Finley just doesn't block. It wouldn't have made the alive. difference. I think even, yeah, yeah, even if Matt banished correctly there. Uh, or, it, like, he, and, and if he used like Accelerator and does another pistol shot, he's still probably, yeah, Finley's probably that's a true. one. He didn't or get to use like those. That. He didn't get to use it. Yeah, that's a good point. I wonder what his turn would have been after that um, high speed impact. I wonder if mm -hmm. it really... Because he might have had an extra boost card, too, that he just couldn't play. Yeah. I mean, we can go back and we can see. Yeah, so here you'll see the banish. There's he, the fate right there. Oh, wait, nothing left in hand. Oh, I think... Oh, he, he has had, a card left. He has a card left. Right, right, right. Um, But nothing to... No pitch left, so he couldn't really do anything. It would have had to be is, pistol or pitch, maybe like a, is that a blue. Is that a, is that a blue left in hand? Can we check? Is there is there a way to back up a little bit? Okay, let's see. Let's let's go from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so 
This is the turn, but this is the turn beforehand. So if you click forward a couple times, we should be at that point. More times. Yeah, he's taking it. Everything's good. Okay, here. Oh, I didn't see the card. Wait one sec. Uh. uh. <laughs> Holding it close to the chest. Come on, Matt. Help us out. So well, he's pitching a yellow for this. So Spark of genius. Spark of genius. Spark okay. Genius. Okay. So okay. So he's boosting the fate. Yeah. Uh, spark of genius. Well, so let's assume that hits. That's a that's a high speed impact. So yeah. he has spark of so genius. Four, he could foundry go, heart go. this, right? Yep. He could foundry heart. So he that two is now. A three. So he goes to three. Load maybe the one pure uh, the one chamber that hasn't gone yet and load the pistol yep. again. So yeah, two more pistol hits would have been the best he could do on another this four. turn. Yeah, for four. Yeah, another four, which is like pretty yeah. reasonable. Um, like he could have also played the spark of genius for a Teclo core and drawn a card. Yeah. So which actually would have made a very big difference because he drew double Teclo core on the CNC hand, meaning that that. That's actually possible to mm. do if he plays a Teclacore off the Spark, right? That's true. Uh, and actually, the Spark, yeah. the Spark is probably better because he boosted. He Sparks, get the item, draw the card because he boosted. Mm -hmm. And then if he draws something, another zero cost, he could potentially Achilles that out, right? He could. It, it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's like it's another, it's like, what, what if you get another Spark? Yeah. Do you Achilles and play the second Spark? Probably. I probably would. That seems like a crazy yeah. ass turn. Yeah. You get a, you get double Tecla core out and you just go bananas. Like if you draw a high octane, <laughs> you're just running at him at this oh, point. At that right? point, yeah. Well, That's I'm, I'm just point. saying, like, it's, it's a snowball effect because not only did later in the game he ended up drawing double tech like it's not his fault obviously but he yeah. ended up drawing double tech liqueur which made him lose his arsenal which was zero to 60 which would be a good turn starter yeah. it's still damage right this is this is like at this point he's racing right so it's still damage uh and on high and on a high octane turn it's an extra action point right yep and on the flip side it could have been spark of genius boosting getting a card either another item <clears throat> mm -hmm. you could have got a nice red boost card to put in the arsenal and then he definitely would have got not definitely, but most likely got two, three blocks instead of having Teclocore, Teclocore, yeah. three block uh, item yeah. or something, or, or a D-reactor or something. Um, he would have had two, three blocks most likely on the CNC and mm -hmm. still been able to have a turn because he still just pitches Teclocore and goes on his way. So, yeah, just kind of a bit, uh, a bit unlucky. I, I, want... I, don't, I don't know if, like, with, every, with the stars align and everything goes Matt's way instead and goes like average and he's not banishing these D-Reacts. I don't know if it's enough to win, but I think Finley would have been at like two, maybe two or three instead of like 11. Yeah. Uh, and that would have forced probably a couple blocks because I think at some point the Achilles is just sitting there. The Achilles can, you know, being at two, it forced the Achilles to get a card, right? So uh, I think that would have been interesting, but unfortunately Matt not getting, uh, not getting the rules here. Yeah, I wonder and, uh, if I would have actually just popped the Achilles here anyway. Just to get the action point to play the Spark of Genius out. I wonder if that's... Oh, yeah? Good. It, in hindsight, it matters a lot because of the double... Well, the CNC turn, right? Um, but it, if I was in his shoes, I don't know if I would have. Because it's you're taking a whole turn off. You're at 29 health, though. You're kind of healthy. So it's... I I, don't, I think it's too early. Like you could blur, brush boost. that off. Yeah, I guess you would want to save it for a high-octane turn if you could. He has too many D-Reacts still in this deck to, like, kind of screw with Achilles of this. Like, he's running the six. This is his second or third. Like, you run mm -hmm. another D-React and your turn ends if you're not on high oct If you're, you're not on the high octane turn, your That's turn just true. ends. That's true. And so, this turn was pretty low stakes because he only had mm -hmm. the one card left, Spark of Genius. So it's like, yes. it's not like a big turn where he's starting off with a boost card and whiffing, right? So yeah, exactly. You didn't, you didn't take damage to come back. So I, I think it was still the right play. I think it's just a little unfortunate that that's what it would have been. Yeah. Um... But that, that that was the game. So hopefully everyone kind of uh, like the content, like the the replay here. If you like this kind of content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, from wherever you're watching, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Bye for now.